Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, Wendy. Hi, how are you? Hi, good evening. Good evening. I'm very tired. <laughs> that makes two of us. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Okay, Why? No iba a la clase, huh? uh, creí que no iba a entrar a la clase. Ah, pero ya ve, lo logró, lo logró. Sí. Lo que pasa es que yo trabajo en arena. Ajá. Arena. Entonces, eh, con los problemas que han habido a nivel político, nos están cambiando, eh, vamos a movernos de edificio, entonces oh, my goodness. estamos en ese rollo y hay que estar cansado. I imagine, <laughs> I imagine that it's very tiring. Sí. Well, but it is good. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being on sí. time. I know all your classmates are going to connect in a moment, right? <laughs> They are going yes. to be here in a second. Let me get some, some water for a sí. second. Hello, Crisia. Hello, Ruth. Hello, Zarai. Okay. Hello, Ruth. No, we don't have Mimi. <laughs> Yesterday we had Mimi. Hello. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Okay, hello. Hola de Chile. Hola. Hola de Chile. Hoy en la mañana, ¿cierto? Sí. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, de Chile. Empezó. Sí. Hey, very good. Hello, Claudia. Okay. So today we are going to be talking about food. We are going to finish the topic. Hello, Sarai. And we have Cristian. Hello, teacher. Okay, we we were talking yesterday about food, right? And today we're going to just finish with the topic, right? We're going to finish with this topic. So in next week, we're just going to finish with the last section. And believe it or not, we will be done with the module. Oh my God, right? Oh my God, time just fly. Yo siento que anoche fue nuestra primera clase que nos dijimos hola, mucho gusto. And now we are about to finish, okay? De aquí, hoy, uh, beginner, tomorrow, advance. We never know. <laughs> so please continue, continue working, continue working hard on this uh, process. I know it's difficult, I know it's tiring, but it's going to be very beneficial in the future, okay? De repente cuando uno deja de estudiar inglés, ay, ah, el tiempo, dice, si hubiera seguido aquella vez que empecé, ahorita allá afuera, uh, mega avanzado. So, my recommendation, if you started, continue. Continue and finish. Ok, a veces uno dice, no, estoy cansada, me siento, ah, me siento agotada, me siento ya yeah, overwhelmed in English, but Continue, 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 okay? Because once you start learning, finish learning because it is going to be beneficial for you, okay? Y así no me van a decir, hubiera seguido, si no van a decir, que chivo que seguí y que chivo que termine, right? I want that. Yo ya les dije, quiero ir a darles el diploma. Allá quiero ir a darles el diploma cuando se gradúen a las oficinas. I was like, ah, you will be very happy there to give you your advanced diploma. Well, my dear students, let's just start. So let's take the best advantage of the night. We were talking about this in the previous class. This was the last thing that we did, right? Countables and uncountables. This was the last section that we did in class. And uh, here you had, for example, all the ones that we can count and all the ones that we cannot count, right? Those are countables and uncountables. Examples, apples, carrots, coconuts, mangoes, strawberries, bananas, watermelon, pear, lollipops, and candies. And uncountables, you have milk, sugar, water, rice, oil, juice, coffee, cream, cake, 
tea, pasta, and soda. And here we can have many, many more examples. This was the last thing we did yesterday, and we started covering some and any. Do you remember when did we mention that we use some and any? Um, any the question? Mm -hmm. Some to negative no. ninguno o nada. Uh -huh. So negative some. Uh -huh. it's some es uh -huh. algunos. Uh -huh. And do you use it in affirmative, negatives, or questions? Any question. Question any. Uh, from negative. questions, negative. Questions and negative. negatives, any. <coughs> and affirmatives. Some. Some. some, right? For affirmatives, you use some, and for uh, the negatives are uh, any, and for the any. questions are any. Okay. Good. En esta clase le vamos a enviar un saludo a Mr. Daniel, que yo sé que ve las grabaciones. Tuvo un pequeño percance, pero siempre ve nuestros videos. Así que todos aquí, permítanme, le vamos a poner todas las cámaras a Daniel. Que le mandamos saludos. Hello, Daniel. We miss you. <laughs> okay. So tomorrow, when you see this video, you are going to see that we remember you in classes. Okay. Good. Yes, he's watching the videos because he had a little accident. Yes, he had a little accident and he cannot connect to the classes. But we are here, very pendent of you all the time, Mr. Daniel. Okay. Excellent. So we use any for negatives and questions and some for affirmatives, right? So we did a little exercise. We did a, this exercise yesterday. Do you remember how we completed? The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make what some some okay do we have any mayonnaise? any no we need to buy some, some. some. we need some, some. onions too some. i don't uh, want any, any onions any. i hate onions then let's get some, some. And celery no, I don't want any, any, any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some, some. some apples in it. Apples in potato salad. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> that sounds awful, right? That sounds awful. Okay. Uh, Paola, I shared the playlist again in the chat, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's because uh, someone asked me for it and I just copied on the chat and it was a personal message and I was like oh my god but I shared it already you can see yourselves there very beautiful in the videos okay so in order to make a chicken sandwich we need some bread some chicken some lettuce and mayonnaise and we don't need any cheese Let's prepare a cheeseburger on the chat, okay? Vámonos todos al chat. Vámonos todos al chat. Abran todos el chat. And let's prepare a cheeseburger. I send you the first ingredient. What other ingredients do we need for a cheeseburger? Uh -huh. Onion, cheese, lettuce, a lot of lettuce, more lettuce. <laughs> Tomatoes. What else? More tomatoes. We need meat. Okay, meat. M E A T. Meat. Pickles. What else? Tomato. Good. Bacon. Ketchup. Good. Mayonnaise. Chili, hey, good. We need some French fries. Onion, good. Ah, we need some mushroom. What Mo else do we need? Musta mostaza sería musta. Mustard. I am going to send it to you. Mustard. 
Right, good. Co cucumber. Excellent. And radish. Radish? Really? For a hamburger? Rabano? ¿Quién le pone rabano? Let me see. Claudia, do you put radish on the hamburger? <laughs> okay, I was like, wow, that's a new that's a new version. Well, we never know. Hay gente que hace un muy buen curtido con, con rabano. Oh, I sent it to you there. It was like in the beginning, but it's pickles. 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 Good. Okay, good, good, good. So, teacher, yes. Um, cuando se le pone, cuando usamos cucumber, viene siendo similar al pepino o algún vegetal que se llama así. Yeah, cucumber is pepino, but pickles son pepinillos, ah. the little ones, mm -hmm. right? Los que son como encurtidos. I think the mm -hmm. pickles are like encurtidos, and the cucumber is the normal vegetable, right? Pepino. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Now, okay. I need you to open your microphone because we are going to prepare a vegetable salad. What are we going to put in the vegetable salad? Okay, aquí tengo el bowl. Demen vegetales. What do we need? A vegetable salad. Tomato. Tomato. Uh -huh. Broccoli. Broccoli. Cucumber. Cucumber. Mango. Onions. Carrot. Mango. Carrot. Uh -huh. Onion. Lettuce. Onion. Lettuce. 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 That's it. No, no. <laughs> no lemon. Oh, no, we put, we put the dressing. Yeah, yes. don't put lemon okay, on it. Ranch. Yes, so <laughs> let me take the lemon out. Okay. <laughs> lemon. Okay, let's prepare a fruit salad. What are we going to put in the fruit salad? Bananas. Melon. Bananas, melon. melon. Mango. Mango. The strawberries. The strawberries. Here we Wild go. Apple. Banana. Grapes. Banana, Banana yes. grapes. Mango. Orange, uh, pineapple. Mango, orange grapes. Pineapple, what else? Uh, Mame. Mame. Pear. <laughs> Pear. Okay, what are melon? Guayaba. What a melon. Peach. Peach. Oh. Peach. And some honey. <laughs> Kiwi. Kiwi. Ping on the top. <laughs> that was a very <laughs> delicious fruit salad. That was a very, very delicious fruit salad. Excellent. Excellent job, my dear students. You did a very delicious fruit salad. Here, I am showing you a picture for a... Ah, oh, sorry. I, I was going to make this one first. Let's do this one. Let's do this one first. I need you to give me examples. I need you to give me examples of the different categories. And you are going to tell, to tell me, I like this and this, but I don't like this. So each of you is going to give me one example. Cada una me va a dar un ejemplo. Pueden escoger cualquier categoría and create your example, okay? So you say, for vegetables, I like uh, green pepper, but I don't like uh, garlic. And it's one example. For the meat, for the dairy products, the dairy products are all the ones that come from milk. Okay? Milk, cheese, cream, yogurt, all these things. Grains, drinks, and desserts. Okay? I need 
you to create one example on one category for any of this. And when you have it, let me know. Cuando la tengan, give me the example. Teacher, have yes. you say horchata? Horchata is the same. Horchata. When you me. have your yeah, me. Wendy, go yes. ahead. I like uh, what category? Grain, grains. Uh, for the grains, go ahead. I I like beans. I uh -huh. don't like rice. Okay, I like beans, but I don't like rice. Do you like casamiento? Yes. <laughs> okay. But rice, only rice, no. Ah, okay, only rice, no. Good, good example. Who's next? Okay, go ahead. I like horchata and soda. I don't like tea. How do you say menta? Mint tea. Mint, Mint tea. tea. Okay, you don't like mint, mint tea. I am going to write it here. Mint tea. Mint tea. You don't like mint tea. Good. Okay. Any other one? Who's next? Me. Claudia, go ahead. Vegetable. Okay. I like pote a potato. And um tomato i like potato I and tomato uh -huh. i don't like um flor de isote isote flower you don't like isote flower isote flower good it's flower. a national flower you don't have to eat it <laughs> good no i don't like it. yes crisia go ahead i like cucumber and Broccoli. Uh -huh. I don't like asparagus and pumpkin. Oh, okay. Asparagus and pumpkin? No. Excellent. Thank you, Crisia. Thank you. Let's continue with Adela. Go ahead. Um, I like banana. I don't like strawberry. A strawberry. A strawberry. Strawberry. Good. Very good. Vanessa, go ahead. I like I like grape and watermelon. Mm -hmm. I don't like papaya. Ah, oh, you don't like papaya. Okay, Jocelyn, go ahead. Uh, dessert. Okay. I like uh, pineapple pineapple pie. Pineapple pie. Pineapple. Pineapple pie. Uh, I don't like cake. You don't like cake. In general, no. cake, you don't like it. Okay. Ruth, yeah. go ahead. Uh, I like cream and cream. cheese. Cream and cheese. And cheese. I don't like yellow cheese. Yellow cheese. Mm -hmm. cheese. Yeah, neither do I. <laughs> Only in the hamburgers. But in general, I don't like yellow cheese. I like mozzarella, but I don't like the yellow cheese. Good. Thank you very much. Good example. Am I missing anybody? And I think I asked all of you, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, and yes. Sarai, did you give me your example? Um, I like mango. Uh -huh. I don't like, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Mamones, sugar. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> they are uh, mom beans. <laughs> Mommy, that's mommy. Okay. Okay, mommy. It's okay, mommy. You don't like mommies. Uh, well, mommies are hocotes, right? I, I don't really have one for mommy. Teacher, yes. how do you say uh, lichas? Lichi. 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 Right, the okay, lichis. Good, you. very good. <laughs> so, for all these things that I have here, tell me. Do you think they are good for you? They are bad for you? They are excellent for you? Or they are perfect for you? They say, strawberries are good for you. What about cake? Como pastel. Uh -huh. El pastel. Is good for your body? Good for your diet? 
Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. For me, it's bad. <laughs> oh, it's bad. What about what about the letters? The letters. The it's letters. perfect. 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 Cherry. The letters. Uh -huh. uh, strawberries are and cake. Uh, sería is. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Yes, okay. because it's singular. You say cake. Cake is good for you, bad for you, perfect for you, right? Thank you. And you say lettuce. Lettuce is good, bad, lettuce. perfect. Good, good. Good. It's okay. boring. It's boring. <laughs> yeah, we never know. We never know. Imagine if you are eating the lettuce and then a piece of lettuce just like. Eh. Uh -huh. So we never know. Fish. It's good. It's good it's for you. It's Fish perfect. is perfect for you. Oh, it's okay. perfect. Oh, Ivan is not here. Come on, Ivan, where are you? Ivan. For me. <laughs> no, for Adela either. So you don't like ah, it. Ah, really? Yeah, Adela is bad. Yes. For Adela, yes, you say like you bad, bad. Yeah. Ivan no. doesn't like fish either. Okay. No, Adela is awful. For Adela is awful. She hates fish. What about potato chips? The ones that you that you eat there from the bag, right? It's very necessary. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Please, potato chips. Uh -huh, but what happens? What happens in your house when you have the potato chips and you are like, and then they are like, give me, give me. What are you eating? Give me, give me. And so like, no. <laughs> and you are just opening the, the bottle like to take the chips and it's like what are you eating? I want gosh, come on yeah por más que las cuide por más que no haga voy abriendo sus papitas eh? <laughs> what are you eating? I want, I want and if you have kids forget it <laughs> what about eggs? do you think eggs are good, bad or Perfect or excellent? It's Sorry. depende. <laughs> yeah, depend. you, you are Argo. young. It's nice, but I am old. No. Yeah, with the cholesterol and all yes. that. It's like high cholesterol. <laughs> it's like give me eggs. No, no. okay, no, forget it. No. <laughs> Potatoes, good, bad, excellent. Ooh. Good. 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 What about pizza? Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Necessary. <laughs> Necessary. <laughs> <laughs> it's important, teacher. No, top one teacher. Ah, huh, the pizza. What about beans? Uh, it's necessary. It's necessary. It's necessary, right? For beans, beans are necessary in El Salvador. They are necessary. Yeah. What about yogurt? No. No life. Ush, yeah. ush, awful. So, aha, aha. I bear the double moral, you see. Pizza, no excellent. Life. Yogurt. <laughs> ah, you don't like it. Cookies. Yes. Excellent. No. <laughs> Depending on the cookies, right? Yes. Because there are some cookies that, that are very ugly. It's like, I don't yes. like it. Yeah, I don't know why, but I don't like these Christmas cookies that you get in this can. Hay una lata azul. That it's for Christmas. I don't like. Que le pone los hilos después. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Las agujas. That you look for cookies and it's like, gosh, zippers. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't really like them. The I don't know why. The, the flavor. The flavor. Is milk. Uh -huh. It's milk. like, wow. like, pero en polvo, como leche en polvo. Wow. It's like, uh, I don't like it. <laughs> and they are, and they are my husband's favorite cookies. Oh. It's like, yeah, I love you, honey. But sorry no. for you. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, honey, but I don't, I don't like it. If you see the class, I don't like them. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Broccoli? Good. 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 That's a meh. Meh food. It's like, meh. <laughs> yeah. when I when I give broccoli to my kid he says no mom I don't eat trees and it's like <laughs> okay he says like no those are trees I don't eat trees and it's like 
Uh, think on the environment and I'm like, okay. <laughs> so that's the reason. So broccoli, eh, that's it. It doesn't taste like anything, but with lemon it's good. I like it with no. lemon. Vanessa, you don't like broccoli? I like. Okay. Paola, do you like broccoli? No. No. Jocelyn? I like. You like broccoli. Sarai? Yes. I, yes, yes, I like. And Crisia? And Chinese food. Oh, that's another level of like broccoli. <laughs> yeah, that's another another type of conversation, right? No estamos listos para esa conversación de broccoli. That's good. Thank you very much. Let's continue, right? We were discussing here, right? The different, I was going to show you the different types of breakfast according to the different countries. Here we have the United States, Japan, and Mexico. Which breakfast do you consider that it's the closest thing to the breakfast to the breakfast we have here in El Salvador? In Mexico. From Mexico, right? The Mexican breakfast. In the United States, you have eggs, bacon, toasts with butter, right? Tostadas con mantequilla, orange juice, coffee, jam, or jelly. Right? Those are the ones that you use in the Japanese, in the UN, in the United States type of breakfast. What about in Japan? What type of things do you find in a breakfast in Japan? Rice. Fish. Uh -huh. Rice. Fish. Uh, so so soup. Pickles. Pickles. And green tea. Green tea. Mm. Mm, delicious. And Mexico. Eggs. Coffee with milk. It is very similar to the breakfast that we have here in El Salvador. And mm -hmm. what will be the top breakfast of El Salvador? Pupusas. Pupusas. <laughs> we are going to have a picture of pupusas or tamales there. Or beans with cream. Chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate, yeah. right? Chocolate or eggs, beans and eggs, right? Beans and eggs is the top breakfast of El Salvador. And for dinner, here in El Salvador, we don't complicate. Yeah, we have breakfast pupusas, dinner pupusas. Breakfast beans, dinner beans. Breakfast egg, dinner egg. We don't complicate. Breakfast tamales, dinner tamales, right? We don't complicate at all, definitely. Let's see. Here we go. I have here a short conversation. Can you help me to read it? Oh, okay. There you go. Go ahead. Help me to read the conversation. Let's have breakfast Let's together, have together, on have breakfast together on Sunday. Sunday. Okay. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese meal. 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 I like to try new things. I like to try new things. Excellent. Do you like to try new things? What is the style of breakfast that they are going to eat? Japanese. Japanese. A Japanese, Japanese style, right? Japanese. And in the Japanese style, as we were mentioning, okay, we have fish, rice, fish, soup, rice, pickles, rice, pickles, rice, pickles rice, and green tea. tea. Okay, and she says, fish for breakfast. That's interesting. It's like, okay, what is that? Uh, sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea, they say. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I would like to try new things. Would you like to eat sushi for breakfast? No. No, no right? No. Yes, who, who likes sushi? 
<laughs> Ruth. So Ruth can eat sushi, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Delicious. It's delicious. <laughs> Do you like sushi, Wendy? No. No. Claudia? No, I don't like. Adela? Ah, oh, you don't like fish, right? No, I don't like. No, no, no. <laughs> Vanessa? I like. You like sushi, so you are on Ruth's team. Jocelyn? Do you like sushi? Like. Paola? Yes. Uh, how do you say no lo he probado? I haven't tried. I, I haven't have. tried. In I the last, in the last sentence, it says, I like to try new things. And you say, I haven't tried. I haven't I tried. tried. Good, very good. So here, uh, Crisia, do you like sushi? I haven't tried. You haven't tried it, Sarai? No, I don't like it. You don't like it. You know, I tried one day and I got sick. <laughs> I got very <laughs> sick and I was like, maybe it's the last time. <laughs> yeah, but I think it was the problem was that we had many different types at the same time. And that was the problem. I mean, later on, my stomach didn't know what to do with all these types of sushi. So when I was like, uh, going back. But maybe I will give another opportunity later on in my life. So, what is the strangest thing? You have eaten for breakfast. What is the strangest thing you have eaten for breakfast? ¿Qué es lo más extraño que se han comido para el desayuno? Milk and tortillas. Hey, that's good. That's a Salvadorian oh. pleasure. Yes. Not, not, <laughs> you don't, don't, I don't like milk. Oh, ah, it's true. You yes, like yes. milk. It's true. Y recién sacada de la vaca. No, peor. Ah, yeah, I like it. I remember my grandfather. He used to do that. La de cabra. ¿Cómo se dice cabra? Goat. Goat, goat. milk. Goat milk. Ya que sabe la leche de cabra. Oh. Leche. <laughs> leche de cabra. <laughs> leche de cabra. <laughs> leche. <laughs> no, más, okay. más que esa. Ah, sí, hay diferencia. Yeah, my question is, how do you get the almond milk? ¿Cómo obtienen la de las almendras? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Triturándolas. Sí. Yeah, the yes. milk, the milk from the almonds. Okay, that was the commercial for the morning. Okay, so uh, tortilla with milk, you say. Okay. A goat milk. Another example of a strange thing that you have had for breakfast. Uh -huh. I was in Guatemala one day and they gave me grilled meat, carne asada, for breakfast. Breast. Breakfast. In a tortilla, they gave me one tortilla and the grilled meat, and they say, okay, 10 quetzales, and that's it. I was like, king? Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What's I up? Uh -huh. And I said, like, well, do, do you have like some beans or eggs? No, that's that's the breakfast. Sandwich, and I was like, sandwich de atún. A tuna sandwich. Ay, delicious. Tuna sandwich. For breakfast? Tuna yeah. for breakfast? Very heavy. <laughs> I know. Uh, I know. Uh, okay, good. Let's pupusas. see. Let's uh, pupusas. Mora pupusas. Yeah, I, I, I don't like the mora pupusas. Now, we are going to have this conversation, but we are going to change. We are not going to have the Japanese style, but we are going to have the Salvadorian style breakfast, okay? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Go ahead. Okay. 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 So, my family always has a Salvador. Uh, Salvador. Uh, Salvador. Okay. Pongámosle pausa. Let's start again. Vamos a hacer un Salvadorian style breakfast, okay? Y lo vamos a poner Salvadorian things here. Okay, no this one and no this one, right? We're going to do it Salvadorian. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. 
Okay, okay, to the my house. house. Family always has a Sunday. Really? Really? What do you have? What do you have? We usually have usually have tamales and beans, beans, cream, cream, eggs, chocolate, milk, milk, sweet bread. Okay, uh, let's see. Tamales for yes. breakfast. Yes, Sarai? Yes. Yes. Tamales for breakfast. Yes. Ah, yeah. The beans, beans and rice. Tamales beans? for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have... How do you say tamales de lote fritos? Oh, corn... Uh, okay, fried corn tamales. Fried corn tamales too. Fried with cream. Tamales. It's good. We with cream. Yeah. Yeah. I put them in and and yeah, sorry for that, but I, I put I do cream with sugar. I mix it and I put it on the tamale. That's a top a top tamales. Recipe. Corn corn tamales with beans. Oh corn tamales with beans. That's good. Mm. Okay, let's see. Uh, sometimes we have corn tamales too, and we always have. What do we drink? Tea or coffee. Coffee, <laughs> coffee yeah. or, 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 milk. or milk. chocolate or milk. milk. Chocolate. Cola. Well, I, I never, I never eat Water. tamales for breakfast. Water. Water. <laughs> Water. Or Coca Cola. Oh, in the morning. <laughs> but only the, the I have seen these only in the, the, the people who build houses. And they can drink the whole thing in the morning. And it's like, yeah, I do it and I die. I mean, at, at noon, I am like, ah, call it this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they, they just like, they, they do it like water. Today in the morning, I was on my way to my work. And there were they there was this camion de, de la alcaldía, right, with a lot of workers. And they had this big soda there in the morning and some sweet bread. And they were like tuk, 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 chuk, 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 with the sweet bread. And I was like, <laughs> and I said, like, okay, they need the energy. I said, I do that, and later, oh, 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 mi testamento. <laughs> and I will be dying there. Okay, good. And well, I never eat corn fried uh, tamales for breakfast, but I like to try new things, right? I will do it. Excellent job, girls, with the conversation. Very nice. Let's continue. Here, on the conversation, we were studying different things for the adverbs of frequency, right? The example that we had in the conversation was specifically for the adverbs of frequency. As the name suggests, the adverse of frequency tells you the frequency that something has. For example, you can say, I always eat pupusas. I usually eat tamales. I sometimes eat uh, tortillas. I hardly ever eat cereal. I never eat fish for breakfast. So that is the example that you can have for you to use the adverbs of frequency. And here in this area, you have the percentage of the frequency. For example, when you have always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, or never. So in this case, in this case, as we have it here, always it will be 100 usually could be uh, like 80 percent right 80 percent often how much percentage do you think that it will have cuánto porcentaje le pondrían a often uh, okay we have 100 always usually like 80 70 percent okay 70 percent what about sometimes uh -huh. 15. 50, right? 50 percent, right? We will have 50 percent. What about a uh, hardly ever? 
25, 24, 25%. 25%, right? And what about never? Zero. 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 Zero percent. So tell me something, something that you always have for breakfast. What is something that you always have for breakfast? I always drink coffee. I always drink coffee, you say. Good. What else? Something that you I, always have for breakfast. I always drink water. I always drink water. What else? I always eat eggs. I always eat eggs. Okay. What is something that you always have? I always chocolate. You always drink chocolate. Good. What is something that you always eat for dinner? Or that you always have for dinner? Beans. Beans. I always eat tortilla. Tortilla for dinner, right? Cheese. Cheese. Coca-Cola. For dinner. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, Coca-Cola for dinner. Okay. Me too, me too. <laughs> soda, yes. soda for dinner. Okay, I will have to. Okay, we will have to change some habits here. Okay. <laughs> soda for dinner. Okay, that's new for me. Definitely. Let me see. What is something that you always have at the moment of lunch? Rice. <laughs> Rice. Mm -hmm. What else do you always have for lunch? Tortilla. Tortillas. Tortillas. Uh -huh. Salad. Salad. Chicken. Chicken. Meat. Meat. What else? Um, salad. Fruit. 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 Fruit oh, for fruit. lunch. Good. Soup. 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 Soup for lunch. Yeah, you always have like this little this little dish. Soup the big the beans. <laughs> beans soup. I, I like yeah. beans soup for yeah. for lunch. Or, yeah, well, well, beans soup is good with everything, right? You you can put just some tortilla, egg, avocado, cream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cream. <laughs> bring cream. me a lemonade bring me a soup. Lemonade. <laughs> Lemon, no, lemonade, no. Lemonade is yeah. a drink. Esa es limonada. Lemon mm, is lemon. the fruit, right? Lemon, mm. lemon. Lemon, lemon. Okay. Lemon. Tell me something that you'd never eat. Pacaya. Ay, qué bien. It's a flower. flower, right? I never it's eat it. Flower. <laughs> It's so the flower. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. I don't like, well, chipilin. Chufles. Chufles. Yeah. ¿Cómo se decía? Hígado. Liver. Liver. Liver, yeah. Liver. Well, but if you go, if you go to a house and you get liver for, for food, do you eat it? Si se lo dan en otra casa? No. I don't <laughs> like, know. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry. It's like, Kaiser. Kaiser. Yeah. Sorry, me tengo que ir. Me acaban de hablar. I have to leave. I have para to llevar, leave. Para llevar. Yeah, but there is, there is nothing worse. No hay, no hay nada peor que uno le da algo al perro de la casa y no se lo coma. Hay que ni el perro. Yeah. Mejor. And it's like, eat it, eat it. And it's like, ew, and he leaves. <laughs> That's so terrible. <laughs> so that it's something that you never eat. <clears throat> In the case of sometimes, it's the only adverb of frequency that you can use at the beginning of the sentence and after the subject, right? Because as you can see here, as you can see here, you have the subject of the sentence, right? The adverbs of frequency go with all the subjects. Okay, aquí no cambia nada. Puedo ocupar I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, that the adverbs of frequency don't change. But if I say she, here, if I say she, let me, okay, sorry for my handwriting. You say she always, 
What it's going to change is the verb. It's. 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 She always eats breakfast. In this case, you change the third person. But here you have the subject, the adverb of frequency, the verb, and the complement, right? Sometimes is the only adverb of frequency that we can use at the beginning. You can say, I sometimes eat pupusas or sometimes I eat pupusas. That is the only one that we can use in the two uh, positions, okay? So that's the only one. In this one, it says, this is the question. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Do you ever have fish for breakfast? ¿Alguna vez lo comes? Yes. And it no. says yes. fish for yes. breakfast? Yes. Yes. I never. Sometimes. I I sometimes. Never. You never, right? I never. I do. never. You say, yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. Or no, I never do. Do you ever have pupusas for breakfast? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. always do. I always do. <laughs> do you ever have a cereal for breakfast? Mm. Yes. Sometimes. yes. I, I sometimes. I sometimes do. Do you ever have a chocolate with milk for breakfast? Yes. No, I never sometimes do. I do. Sometimes I do, you say. Now, I need you to create a question. Teacher, do you ever? And create a question. Teacher, do you ever? Teacher, do you ever? Do you ever have chicken? Uh -huh. For breakfast? Do you ever have chicken for breakfast? Uh, no, I never do. Another question. Teacher, Teacher do you ever have eggs for breakfast? Yes, I sometimes do. Do you ever have rice for breakfast? Uh, only with milk. Ah. Uh -huh, rice with milk. Yeah. Do Another you have question. Do you ever do you ever have vegetable for breakfast? Vegetables? Well, only in tomatada. Uh, <laughs> only in tomatada. <laughs> yes. Do you ever have honey for breakfast? Honey. Uh, well, with the fruit, sometimes. No pancakes. With the pancakes. You know, I don't like pancakes. <laughs> and I am very good at cooking pancakes. Me salen preciosos, así lindos, brown and, and golden. They are so beautiful, but I don't like them. <laughs> but my little kid loves pancakes. He loves pancakes, but I don't like them. I love to prepare them, to cook, to decorate them and everything, but to eat them, no, <laughs> I don't like them. So, that is the form of the questions, right? And that is the form that you use the adverbs of frequency. The adverbs of frequency can be used for many other things, right? Not only for food. You can say, I always go to the beach. I never go to the movies. I never listen to music. For example, you can use it with activities, with the things that you do. But here we have the example of the topic of the food, right? Pero podemos ocupar los adverbios de frecuencia para cualquier otra actividad que requiera una frecuencia X, right? En la vida, por ejemplo, you say, I never go swimming because I don't have a swimming pool and I don't go to the beach. I hardly ever go to the beach, right? And you can use the adverbs of frequency for other topics as well. But for this one, we're going to use it for food. Here we have the example for the topic. And here we go, okay. The example goes like this, and it says, put the adverb of frequency in the correct place. Where do you use the adverb of frequency? Después de que iba el adverbio de frecuencia? Subject. After the subject, right? What do you usually have for breakfast? Well, I... 
Often. 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 I often. I often. No pronouns. Okay, I okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go over. It's true. Let's go over the pronunciation. I don't want to to uh, to have you pronouncing incorrectly. Say always. 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 Usually. Usually. Often. 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 Sometimes. 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 Hardly, Hardly ever. ever. Hardly ever. Never. 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 Do you ever? Do you ever? No. Yes, I always. Yes, yes I, I always. Sometimes I do. Sometimes, Sometimes I, do. I do. No, I never do. No, no, no I, I never, never do. do. Okay, now we can go over the sentences. Oh, ya sabemos la pronunciación. Let's do it. It says, well, I... Often. I often... I often... Have, have, have coffee, coffee no, 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 cereal, and juice. And juice. Okay. Ever. Where do you place it? Do you, do you ever, 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 ever eat breakfast? Breakfast. 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 And the next one. Uh, I, I can sometimes. I have sometimes. sometimes. I have a breakfast okay. at my Two desk. Okay. I, sometimes I sometimes have breakfast at my desk. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have I sometimes or sometimes, sometimes. I. Sometimes I. You can have it in the two ways. I sometimes have breakfast at my desk. Okay, ahí nos toca comer en el escritorio. The next one, usually. Do you usually eat rice for breakfast? No, I hardly um, ever. Hardly ever. I, I hardly ever, ever have rice. Have rice. In this one, if I give you a sentence, I have breakfast on never weekends. The sentence will be. I, I never, never have breakfast on weekends. What about this one? Work, I snacks, eat at hardly ever. I hardly ever, hardly ever, I hardly ever eat snacks at work. What about this one? Eat for pasta dinner, sometimes I. Sometimes, 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 I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. Very good. Or sometimes mm. I. And then last one. Have I dinner with often family my? I have dinner with my family. Often. I with family. You say I often. I often have, have dinner with, dinner with my, with my family. family. My family. Okay. I need you to give me an original example of the things that you do or the things that you eat. Give me one original example. Here you have four sentences that I created. And I need you to tell me one original example. I am going to do myself. I sometimes have fruit for breakfast. Create one example. I sometimes drink milk mm -hmm. on breakfast. For breakfast, good. For breakfast. Very good, uh, another example. I sometimes uh, with, no, with coffee for breakfast. I sometimes drink. Coffee. And drink coffee for breakfast. For breakfast. For Good. breakfast. Another example. Never. Never. I usually Never. have a pe bread. At I usually have bread for breakfast. Uh -huh, bread. I usually have bread for breakfast. For breakfast. Ruth, what was your example? Uh, 
Uh, well, me perdí. <laughs> what was your example? You have to create one example similar to this one. Un ejemplo similar a esto. I never have yellow sheet. Mm -hmm. cheese. For uh, well, I never eat yellow cheese in this case because you don't eat it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, right? I never eat yellow. I never. Yes, Wendy. I never drink milk for breakfast. I never drink milk for breakfast. Good. Let's see. Uh, Sarai? Uh, I sometimes so, mm, mm, I mm, eat pupusas for breakfast. Good. I sometimes eat pupusas for breakfast, right? Adela, go ahead. The microphone, sweetie. Go ahead. Se me, se me pega la pantalla, perdón. Ok. Um, I drink milk. Always. I always uh -huh. meal on um, weekend. I always drink milk on weekends. Paola? I never have I never have fish for breakfast I never have fish for breakfast Vanessa uh, I never eat breakfast at, um, at six o'clock I never eat breakfast at six o'clock okay good very good and at the last example we are going to do for this class it says Often, sometimes, and never. What is something that you often eat? What is something that you sometimes eat? And what is something that you never eat? You have pasta, often, sometimes, or never? Sometimes. Never. Sometimes. Never. Never, says Adela. You, pasta. Never. Sometimes. What about hamburgers? Sometimes. Oh, sometimes. Never. 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 Sometimes. Often, just, sometimes. Fish? Sometimes. 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 What about what about eggs? Sometimes. Never. Sometimes. Never. Sometimes. My God. Sometimes. Never. Never. Okay. Broccoli? Sometimes. sometimes. Often. Often. Okay. Often. And there are many other examples that you already gave me that you don't eat, right? That you don't really like. Before I forget, I am going to, before we go to the reading, I need you to check on the homework, okay? Antes de que se me pase y lleguemos al final y no se la diga, I am going to give you the homework for the next week, okay? This is for the next week, for Monday. I need you to investigate vocabulary about sports, Sport. vocabulary about sports okay that's what we need to do that's the homework okay catch up catch up paola catch up <laughs> okay perdemos a paola perdemos a paola <laughs> okay ya la tenemos de vuelta good so we need to investigate vocabulary related to sports okay before we go to the last activity of the night, we need you to, I need you to investigate vocabulary related to sports. And the last activity we are going to do now. Here, we are going to have a, a little reading and they say it's eating for good luck, right? Eating for good luck. Oh, good Some people say that this specific type of food, it's beneficial and they give you Good luck. And it says, um, have you ever heard this, these traditions that people have for New Year? ¿Ya han oído de las tradiciones o las creencias de Año Nuevo? Yes. yes. Yes, that they say, go out with the bag and the luggage and blah, blah, blah. And then put this type of color of clothing for you to have this love and money and all that. But yeah. Or they say, like, put some oranges under the bed 
And the first one that you get is like, yeah, they have a lot of different beliefs that uh, they have for New Year. Let's read some of them. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines, okay. tangerines son mandarinas, right? Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round and round foods end and begin again like the year. It is a Jewish custom, una costumbre judía, to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. The next one. Greeks eat basilopita. Bread with a coin inside. Imagine that you eat the coin. <laughs> a coin, a coin is like a moneda, right? That's a coin. Bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find a coin for good luck and money for the new year. But be careful because hitting El Salvador, don't know how to put the coin Me, así. It was like, ay, no le dio suerte para el año nuevo. <laughs> yeah, for sure, because she, she's dead. <laughs> the next one. In Spain and in some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. I really like to see people eating all the grapes in the middle. Come on. No, right? You can die with the grapes. Be careful. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat moki, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. Rice cakes. And the last one. Some Americans from southern states eat black eyed peas with rice and rice with color greens, right? Color greens are like a un tipo de hoja, right? The black eyed peas are like coins and the greens are like dollars. So they believe that they are going to have good luck and money for the next year. So we have these different traditions that people have for New Year's Day. It's very, yeah, every single person uh, has different things. I am going to send you the exercise in the page for you to complete it, okay? There is like a true and false exercise for you to do it on the weekend. Okay, my dear students, I am going to see you next week for another class. Have a beautiful night, rest a lot, and I am going to be here on Monday to serve you, okay? okay. Have a beautiful night. Okay. Good night. Bye -bye. Thank Good you, night. Good night. Good night. Be careful with the bread and the coins. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Bye. 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 See you on Monday. Bye-bye.